Tony, Tony, Tony! Kids, kids, kids! Guys, how you all doing? I miss you all. I miss you guys so much. I mean, I only got to do Tony Kids Crew like, I don't know, six times. And then we did online Tony Kids. But already I just... We ha I haven't seen you guys in like five weeks and I miss you so, so much. I can't wait until we all get to hang out together again. And we get to play tip and we get to do some dancing and we get to learn more about Jesus and I just want to do that with you guys and we can't do it today in person but we can do it online and so that's what we're doing Tony Kids online you're watching along on your phone on your computer on your tablet and that's awesome so we get to hang out for the next little while man I'm so keen I hope you guys are ready we're gonna have some fun um, and yeah, it's just gonna be sick. All right, so here we go. Let's, we're gonna do Toonie Kids Crew online. Uh, now, what we'd normally do, Toonie Kids Crew is all about having fun, but it's also all about getting to know our great God. So what we're gonna do, first thing is we're gonna pray to our great God because our great God is a loving Father and He loves it when we talk to Him. So let's do that. All right, pray with me. Father God, thank you so much that you love us and that you wanna to talk to us um, that you adopt us as your children. I pray today that we'll have some fun at Online Tuny Kids Crew, but also we'll get to know you a little bit better. Amen. All right, thanks guys. Now, here we go. We're going to play a bit of an online game. Now, you can cheat in this one, but it's not as fun if you cheat. So please don't cheat. Here we go. What I'm going to do is I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got nine objects on a tray, and I'm going to show you what those objects are for about... 40 seconds and then you have to remember them all okay i'm gonna take it away and then you have to see and write down how many you can remember okay and then after i'll give you about 30 seconds to write them all down or to try and remember and then i'll show you what they are and we'll see how many you got okay so here we go i am going to show you them right now are you ready all right here we go here's the nine things all right so you got 40 seconds we've got a puzzle piece we've got a watch a spoon, we've got some toothpaste, we've got a camel, we've got a cup, we've got a burrito, we've got some hand sanitizer, and we've got a jar of nuts, okay? Alright, keep remembering them, don't write them down yet, you can't start yet. Remember, 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 nine things, nine things, nine things. Alright, you got ten more seconds to try and remember. Now, keep, keep going, keep going, remember, remember, remember. Alright, I'm going to take them away now. I'm taking them away, and they're gone. Oh, all right, uh, now I'm going to give you 40 seconds to try and either write down what you can or say them all out loud. Can you get nine things? Nine, nine things. I think there was something in there to do with maybe your tea. There was something, maybe a good fun activity you can do during COVID. There was maybe something you can eat. There was something that you very much need to keep clean at the moment. There was um, some, like a, a weird little item of clothing that you wear on your wrist. All right, you've got five more seconds to see if you can remember them all. How many did you get? How many did you get? Okay, here we go, I'm showing you them again. All right, here they are again. We've got a puzzle piece. Did you get that one? Did you get the watch, the spoon? Did you get this weird burrito thing? Look, I've got this as part of the game. It's pretty fun. Uh, the toothpaste, a camel, a cup, um, a jar of nuts, and some hand sanitizer. How many did you get, guys? Let me know in the comments how many you got. Now, I hope you didn't cheat. I hope you didn't rewind and go back and remember. Um, but I, I do hope you got at least some of them. I reckon if you got more than four, you're doing really well. If you got over six, that's like, whoa, man, your memory's amazing. It's so good. All right, there you go. There's a little bit of game. And we're back to my face now. Here we go. So, um, I hope you had a bit of fun. I know that was a short game, but there's going to be a little bit more fun at the end of this video. I'm really excited for that bit. It's going to be awesome. But normally what we do at Tooney Kids Crew is we hear about... Who do we hear about? We hear about God, right? Or we hear about God's Son, Jesus, who is, believe it or not, also God. Oh, 
crazy. So, um, now who can remember, last term for those of you who are here, what did we learn about? We learn about Jesus, for sure, but we learn about something in particular. Do you guys remember? We learn about Jesus and his power. And we learn about how Jesus has power over sickness and Jesus has power over nature and Jesus has power over death and Jesus has power over COVID-19 and Jesus then didn't use his power but he instead died on the cross but he then showed his power to rise again and that was so awesome and that's how we finished and now this term we're going to be looking a little bit more about um, that, that death and Jesus rising again on the cross. And we're going to look at some big words um, and we're going to figure out why Jesus died on the cross and what it means for us. We did talk a little bit about it, but we're going to talk a lot about it this term. It's going to be really awesome. So get ready to learn uh, some big words. Now, today's big word is substitution. Ooh, can you say it with me? Three, two, one. Substitution. Oh, do you know what that word means? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But we're going we're gonna to learn about what that word means. And how we're going to learn about it, I'm really excited. We're going to learn about it from this cool guy in the Bible whose name was Isaiah. Now, Isaiah is a guy from the Old Testament, way back. So, Jesus died 2,000 years ago. Before that, Isaiah lived 700 years before him, about that. So we're talking like almost 3,000 years ago Isaiah lived. So he's pretty old. Well, he is dead, but he, you know, if he was still alive, he'd be really old right now. But Isaiah was this awesome guy, and he lived in Israel. And what he did, he was what's called a prophet. And a prophet is called a messenger of God. And you want to hear, there's, there's two pretty funny, well, one, one funny story and one awesome story that I love about Isaiah. I'm just going just gonna to tell you them quickly. Here's the funny one first. One time, Isaiah, God told him to walk through the streets naked for three years. And he did it. He obeyed God. And he walked through the streets naked. How weird. How funny. I reckon it would have been crazy. And, but he did it for a reason, actually. God just didn't tell him to walk around the streets naked uh, to be funny. No, he, he actually said he had to walk around and give this sign to the countries, Egypt and Cush. You see, Egypt and Cush, they didn't trust in God. And so God was going to punish them by making them slaves. And so Isaiah was a sign to Egypt and Cush. And he said, Egypt and Cush, you are going to be taken away naked like Isaiah as slaves. Because you haven't followed me. And believe it or not, a little while later, Egypt and Cush were taken away naked as slaves. That sign came true because Egypt and Cush didn't trust in God. And so Isaiah told them that and they didn't repent. They didn't say sorry to God and turn back. They keep staying in their own way, not trusting in God. And so they were punished by God. So that's, that's a kind of funny story that Isaiah did. There's another awesome story that one of my favorite stories in the Bible. And what happens? You should go and read it. Uh, that, that naked story is in Isaiah chapter 20. So you can read that with your parents if you want. The other story is in chapter 36 and 37. And what happens is the king of Israel at that time, his name is King Hezekiah. And there's another bad guy king from Assyria. And his name is Sennacherib. It's a bit, bit weird. They're both really long names. Um, and Sennach Ooh, I almost got it wrong. Sennacherib, he comes up and he's like going to King Hezekiah. He's like, man, I'm going to take over you. you. You can't do anything about it. And he brings this huge army and he's going to attack Israel. And he's going to attack King Hezekiah in Israel. And Hezekiah, he's pretty scared because that army is really, really big. And so he goes and he gets Isaiah and he's like, Isaiah, what do I do? What do I do? There's a giant army on our doorstep that's coming for us. And... And then Isaiah says, it's okay, guys, trust in God. And so what Hezekiah does is he turns to God and he prays to God. And then when he prays to God, God um, sends an angel to wipe out the enemy army. And it actually says the angel wiped out 185,000 men 
All because King Hezekiah just turned to God and prayed. And it's so awesome, you know. The Bible just says, come and turn to God. And that is such a cool story. And there's there's two opposites. There's, there's Cush in Egypt and they didn't turn to God. And there's King Hezekiah and he did turn to God. Um, but anyway, there, there's two cool stories. But I told you that we were going to talk about Jesus and we were going to talk about substitution. So why am I talking about Isaiah? Well, because Isaiah... He is a prophet. He's, a, he's someone who sends messages from God. And he sends an awesome message. Now, remember, he lived 700 years before Jesus. But he actually sent a message about Jesus. And we get that message in chapter 53. Right? And I'm going to read some verses from Isaiah chapter 53. I'm going to read verses four to six and these verses even though they were written 700 years before jesus they're actually written about jesus so isaiah is prophesying or giving a message about jesus all right and here's what he says but he and the he here is jesus but he jesus took our suffering on himself and felt our pain for us we saw jesus suffering we thought God was punishing him. But he, Jesus, was wounded for the wrong things that we did. He was crushed for the evil things that we did. The punishment which made us well was given to him, Jesus. And we are healed because of his wounds. We, all like sheep, have wandered away. Each of us has gone our own way. But the Lord has put on him, Jesus, the punishment for all the evil we have done. Wow, those verses are awesome. If you want to go read them, they're Isaiah chapter 53, verses 4 to 6. And so I said we were going to talk about substitution. And substitution is a big word, but here's what it means. It just means a swap. That's it. Just swap. A swapping, you know. Like if you go to your friends and you have something and you want to swap with them, um, that's it. But Jesus made a swap with us, a substitution with us. Because you see, we, I don't know about you, but sometimes I'm a little bit like King Hezekiah and I trust in God. But often I'm like the countries Egypt and Cush. I don't trust in God. I turn my back on him. I am like Isaiah says, I am like a sheep who has wandered away. And I don't know about you, but I reckon, I reckon sometimes you are too. I reckon sometimes you are like a sheep who's wandered away. You don't trust in God. Bible actually says that everyone is like that. There are times when we don't trust in God. And that is called sin. And God needs to punish that kind of sad but this is the awesome news of the bible it's because even though god needs to punish us for our sin he doesn't instead jesus comes and he swaps with us jesus is the one that is punished and we're the ones that not because you see jesus he was like hezekiah all the time he never not trusted in God. He always, always trusted in God. He was perfect. And so he didn't need to be punished. But he took our punishment for us so that we could go free. He made a great big swap. Now that is just unbelievable. And because Jesus took our punishment, we don't need to be punished anymore. And we're now right with God. It's just, it's crazy. You know, that's what the Jesus did on the cross. That was the punishment. That was his punishment that we were supposed to take, but Jesus took it for us. Man, it's crazy, isn't it? It's, Jesus loves us so much that he took our punishment for us on that cross. And he swapped with us. Wow. So crazy. What a great swap. So that's that's one of the big words that we learned. Can you remember what the big word was? It started with S. It means swap, but it's not swap. It was su substitution. 
Do you remember the substitution? Just a big word for swap. That's it. So we're going to learn more about some other big words about why Jesus had to die on the cross. Because, you see, the death on the cross, it's so awesome. It's got so many cool things there. And the swap is just one of those cool things that, that it does. So, here we go. I did promise a bit of fun. This verse... Isaiah 53, 6. There is an awesome song on that verse written by my favorite, Colin Buchanan. So we're going to sing and dance to that song. So here we go. Here we go. I'm going to show it to you guys. All right, guys. How you doing? All right. I'm standing up. I'm ready to dance. I hope you guys are too. All right. So you need to be standing up somewhere. Start getting a little bit loosey-goosey. All right. Now this song, it does have another big word in it. Two big words for today. Today's big... The other word in this song is called iniquities. Oh, big word. All it means is sin. See, it says, um, For God has laid on him, Jesus, the iniquities of us all. It means God has laid on Jesus all of our sin. And that's why he punished Jesus instead of us. So there's another big word. But the way this song works is pretty simple. It's Isaiah 53, 6, Okay. Now, there's kind of, it's a bit of fun. So there's four lines, and then there's some cool bar, bar, do bar, bars in there, all right? So we're going we're gonna to dance. So I'm going to show you some actions, all right? Here we go. So the first line is, we all like sheep have gone astray. And ready? So we're going to be like sheep. We all like sheep have gone astray. And then what happens is we get into the bar, bar, do bar, bars. So when we do that, we just have to like punch the air, like bar, bar, do bar, bar, all right? So it's going to go like this. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Ba ba do ba ba. And the next line is, each of us has turned our own way. And we're going to turn our backs because sometimes we turn our backs on God. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that action. All right. And then the third line is, but the Lord has laid on Him. And when we talk about Him, we mean Jesus. And so on the cross, when Jesus died, the Lord laid on Him. The iniquities, which is the sin of us all. So, here we go. It's, uh, we all like sheep have gone astray. Ba, ba, do ba, ba. Each of us has turned our own way. Ba, ba, do ba, ba. But the Lord has laid on him the iniquities of us all. Sing, ba, ba, do ba, ba. And then the last line is, Isaiah 53, 6. But you've got to be pretty quick, so it's, it's a bit hard. To go Isaiah 53 6. All right, we're gonna play the song, we're gonna dance along. It goes through three times, and there's some guitar and some drums, so you can do some dancing along to that. Here we go, you ready? Get ready. We all like sheep have gone astray, ba ba do ba ba. Each of us has turned to his own way, ba ba do ba ba. But the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Sing ba ba do ba ba. Isaiah 53 6. Ooh. We all like sheep have gone astray, ba ba. Do ba ba, each of us has turned to his own way. Ba ba, do ba ba, but the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of our soul. Sing ba ba, do ba ba, Isaiah 53 6. <coughs> Alright, it's your turn now. We are. was awesome i hope you had a blast i had so much fun hanging out with you guys online unfortunately that's all for today i do miss you guys so 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 much but we're going to be hanging out more together and so i'm really pumped to be doing that with you guys please stay tuned there's gonna be more videos every week it's gonna be awesome kids crew online turning 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 kids kids kids